Hey guys, this is probably going to be our best video yet because we found this. Actually, we, we haven't found this. We've known about this for years. We've been trying to unclog it. This is the most clogged culvert like ever. This is and like a good fast. five foot culvert. This is like a good six foot culvert that is completely uh, clogged with beavers. With this, on this uh, lake. And there's a trail over there. And the risk is if there's ever a good flood, this is just going to wash out the trail. And before you say this is illegal to do it, it's not because it's blocking a water passage, a primary yeah, water passage. Yeah, we called them and they said that, like, we can't really send people out here. Because we, we would called them, get... like, probably, like, three or four years ago we've called them. And they said, like, we can't do it. And it's it's just getting, been getting worse and worse from yeah, beavers. Yeah, exactly. Because they, can't, because they can't just take away a beaver dam. They would need a And permit. this is getting worrisomely close to being fully clogged. And that would not be and good. And unleashing mayhem. Yep, let's so unclog it. Well, stick... And it's not waterlogged, surprisingly. But these damn beavers are just like, sheesh. Oh, fishing line. Why do people litter like this? Because there's not even like good fishing here. Either. Nope, I remember I told somebody, hey, you know there's no fish. You know that you can go to this lake down the street. Oh, I'm gonna fish here. Try to hopefully find trout that they do not stock. It's a tech, uh, isn't this a lake? Uh, yeah, this is a pond. Pond, lake, huh. Potato, potato. It's in between, like. It would be a, it's a very large pond or a very small lake. I'm closer. We're actually gonna go inside on the other side. Hopefully, and we're gonna unclog it from the inside. If I feel comfortable. Yeah, and hopefully it should be, it should be big enough. We checked. We look out before this, before videos and stuff. We've tried to unclog it before, but we just didn't have the equipment. Yeah, or we don't really have the equipment either, but or the time really. Oh well, yeah, cause it's, yeah, we've had. Cause I remember like. Like way before the YouTube channel, like probably, I would say probably like four years ago, you, you went here and you unclogged it, tried to unclog it for like 10 Oh minutes. no! What? Well, the water got in my gloves. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't expect it to be so early. Exactly. If you hear background noise, we apologize because this is on a trail. And there's birds. Yeah. But birds are nature, so that's not really that annoying. It's more people talking. Yeah. We were surprised because it's a, it's a Saturday morning at like 11.30 around. Yeah, I would think so. Not super morning, but yeah. Gotta get that sediment out. a little bit of time and then we'll come back and hopefully work from the back. Yes. So now we have to clear the back of this culvert where the outflow is. It's producing the outflow because an island of uh, grass is growing, but let's work on this first. Not cutting? Oh, it is. Really nicely. Those are clean cuts. So basically, this is the outflow of the pipe. So that, that was the trail right on the other side is where the um, the culvert, the front of the culvert were unclogged. Here is the middle. Uh, we're unclogging the back side of it, but we're, I think we're going to probably go inside and unclog that. Which will be really interesting. Oh yeah. Normally you unclog from the outside, but going into the inside to unclog. Not that often. Yeah. But this is a very special scenario.
let the cold water, let the water get out. So it's gonna mine itself through the dirt and plants. Let's take a break. I'm getting hot. I'll, we'll be back. Here we found some mallards just uh, grooming the bottom for like algae and just food in general. Um, so this is where we started. We're on top of the pipe right now. Uh, we're going to go across this thing and then we, we're at a joint where we could, we luckily opened up the manhole. The manhole is from 1996 by what it's dated. Um, before you say like, oh, you guys are not going to put it back. I promise you that we will. If we don't put this back on, I'll die. Okay? This is just sort of like the building here again. We will put back the manhole. That's why it's there. So this is the side that the holes are going to be from. And then the other side is going down and the, to there. And the jerks decided, aka beavers, decided to clog it. Yeah. Which is fine. They just don't like hearing running water, but you know, not here. So, um, good steps. This is this is a joint where it's more primarily going to get clogged, so that's why they have a manhole here for construction workers or contractors to access it, so they can un undo it. And if they really need like to do something, like we said earlier, though, they haven't been able to. They don't have enough funding, and well, they do have permits for it, I believe. No, they do not, because this is they're just growing a beaver a pond, but this is a primary waterway there's no other culverts here it's this it's going past here this is just mainly fed by street water it's yeah. past here or over the over the uh, uh it's much better to trail. you want you this is like wetlands so it's much better to flood this than to come over flood this and you're blocking sidewalks. pedestrian passage to neighborhoods yeah and it could technically go into neighborhoods and like that yeah that could, you don't want that because walked out anyway yeah. So here we are. This is a prefabricated concrete. Um, this is a cast iron manhole made in 1996, as you can see right here. It's made in America. That says 1998. Sorry, so, I read it wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Apologies, because where I live, our manholes are made in 1996. Um, this is precast concrete, amazing stuff. If, if constructed well, which it is, uh, rebar, joints so they can pull it up with the book like the crane if they really needed to do stuff with it so we're just going to give this a little bit more time to drain out because i don't feel comfortable going in when there's a little bit more water flow yeah and then we'll do this later so here's this great tar seal that's the water can road outside great quality seal still malleable which is needed let's go in we checked how deep it is, not really. No, it isn't. I can touch the bottom. Like, see, right now it's covered in the bottom right now, and you can reach the edge of the Yeah. Let's do this side.
It's somewhat deep. It's somewhat deep, but it's it's totally worth it. We're gonna pick up the clog back there. I'm just piping hot. This is nice, just cool water. That was weird, it stopped recording. We got like eight minutes of footage. Hogging there and then we also had like another like, I'd say another like 10 minutes of just like unrecorded stuff that we didn't record. For some reason, yeah, that, it was weird. It doesn't, but it doesn't really matter because this is way more interesting. I think than that. Oh yeah. Oh, 
I honestly think we should just give it a day or two to dry up, and then we come back in another day and do the rest. Yes, possibly. Yeah, I think we're going to do that, because one is getting really hot out. Yeah, but when you see this video, it'll be all, all the days put together. Yeah, if you feel like it. <laughs> well then, we're going to call it for today. I'm hot. I'm guessing you're not in your air-conditioned house. Um, and we'll see you around. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe. And we'll see you in a few days. We got a bathroom. That's a little bit of a break. I think a little bit of a break. Okay. Okay. unclogging it inside so if we look back here this is on where the water is flowing too unclogging it it is flowing quite a bit it was not flowing that way before there was that then yeah here's the we're opening the what we opened up then lake the unclog the water is so swelling. Do you hear the water gurgling in there? compared to that.
dam is going a lot further than I thought. It's mainly filled in with sediment. Uh, the silt will get washed away in the next rainstorm or when we unclog this dam.